So how's how's your week been? Well, it's been good. How about yours? Uh, fine. I didn't really think. Oh. <laughs> but tomorrow we're going on. We're going to a company picnic for Daniel's job. Mm. But this time we have to bring food. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> What are you bringing? Dessert. Mm. What kind of dessert? I don't know yet. I feel like he's just gonna buy it last minute before we go. Because <laughs> <laughs> I asked him if he wanted me to make something. He's like, nah, we don't need to make anything. <laughs> just buy it. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't think I'm gonna have time to make anything anyway. No. You busy? Well, I have been playing a lot more um, Final Fantasy Online, and oh, someone's yeah. having a wedding, so I'm going to the wedding. Oh, how cute! And that's at eleven o'clock. That's cool. And then we might go to the beach on Sunday. I'm pretty sure we will. It's not gonna rain or anything. What are you doing? Hop on that plane. I'm coming, sorry. <laughs> Had to get rid of some items. come over you can help me a little bit figure out what some things should be and where some things should go because like I still haven't figured that part out yet okay but like hopefully it won't like give away the plot of the story too much because I like I want you to be in the dark too <laughs> yes Here was July the shark week. It's still July, so how come I don't see any sharks? Hmm. Or is that June? I think sharks are on the I haven't seen any sharks. What is this? Oh, never mind. So what happened to your cousin? My niece? Yeah, your niece. <laughs> she just said she couldn't play tonight. Hmm. But maybe pretty? What could she possibly have to do? She's 13. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but hang out with her aunt? <laughs> we could have played Cutthroat Kitchen. Oh man. But no, someone mm. had to bail. <laughs> Oops. What is this, your gym fit? <laughs> yeah, it's my loungewear. Loungewear. <laughs> All right, where are you? I'm on the beach. I'm coming. Uh -huh. Hold on one second though. I said hold on.
Oh, shit. Okay. I pushed the thing. I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> this new Facebook layout has got me fucked up. One second. Don't. <laughs> Don't bring COVID onto my island. <laughs> Actually posted that I was streaming this time. Oh, uh, no, let's go this way. fancy! Does it matter? I don't know. I also have to remember. I think I'm trying to download all the recordings of me building this thing because I usually do it on stream. But I also haven't done a lot of it on stream, so I don't know if it matters. <laughs> well, sure. Hey, whatever. <laughs> I probably took the most difficult way to get there. <laughs> <laughs> it shows all your cool stuff. Yeah, the little review. Alright, here we are. Oh! Made the bar a little bit bigger. Oh, cool! Ah, that's <clears> awesome. I wanted to put like a, like you know, the wood burning stove. Uh huh. Like in the back, cause it would look, it would look cool, cause it's, it's got like a chimney thing. Yeah. But um, I can't fit anything else back there and not be able to get back there myself. So. Oh. I'm debating on showing you the sneak preview of the character that's going to be in here, but maybe I should. Huh? Eh? No, no response? <laughs> maybe you should. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should. I mean, it's not like it's going to be a surprise or anything. Show me, show me, show me. Alright, alright. <laughs> Drinks and food here. Cool. Does she, does she get a backstory? Yeah, maybe later. I don't know. <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> up with the outfits first and then I'll make a backstory based off of it. But you know, that's how character creation works. You just make the look first and then you ah. come up with a backstory. Okay. And then there's going to be a little. This, uh, this right here is a. Uh, um, a shop, a stand, and this is also a stand. There's two here. There's only two. Because, you like, know, the wand only has, um... Yeah, it's only got eight slots for costume, so I can only make eight characters. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to make three here, plus the character that you meet, um early on in the story and then there's a fortune teller and then there's like a couple more on the second level and, 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 and you get it it's a lot <laughs> yeah and honestly I think I might have nine by accident I might have to tailor something I don't know oh <laughs> although I can um no because also I want an outfit to wear when I'm not any characters y you get what I'm saying yeah. Like when I'm actually yeah. just like narrating or like giving you instructions, I want to like, I want to, I don't want to be a character because it would be, I wouldn't say confusing, but you know, if you're, if you're not in yeah. any of these areas, then I would have to be someone else. Yeah. Be myself, I mean. So there's a costume for that, I think. Are there like any items you could use as stand in for a character or something? Maybe. But I like to emote. I want, I want to do the emotions. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 
you know? Yeah. You can't really have a character. Either. I mean, I could have characters stand in as, a, like, patrons in here or something. I don't know. Maybe not. It really depends on, because, like, if I put anything else in here, it's really hard to move around. I'm just, I just wanted, like, counter space to put, like, items on. Mm-hmm. Cute. That's it. Okay, so about these, what do you think these should be? It's beautiful. Uh. One of them is oh. definitely gonna be uh. A, like a. Um, I think maybe this one will be one where you buy like spells from. And by spells, I mean like fireworks. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> So I think maybe that one, but I can't really figure out what this one was supposed to be. I, I just knew I wanted like to fill up the space with like a couple of shops. This is hard. I've never actually played D and D before. It's okay. It's not D and D. <laughs> what? It's not really D and D. But so it's modeled after, right? I mean, I'm gonna use dice, but that's only for um, calculating something. What about what about armor? Like different clothes and things. That's a possibility. Because you're gonna buy food in there, right? Yeah. In the... This is technically yeah. the food is gonna be um, what gives you health if you get hurt. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, so you're gonna have like a, a set um, life points when you start, and then like if you c encounter a monster and you get hurt, you can like either, you can buy fruit from here and take it with you or you can eat it in here either way. And each food does give you different, um, different health statuses. Am I saying that right? Because you know when you actually eat food, you get like, because like out of 10, you get like three or something. Usually fruit yeah. only gives you one, but if you eat cooked food, it gives you like three or three or more. Yeah. So it's gonna be based on that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's hmm. a lot to figure out the technical bits, but I'm just trying to look, think of the story right now, and then the technical bits can come after. But armor is good. Maybe like costumes, cause like um. What I plan to do is, uh, when I have grouped everybody together, they can pick out what race they want to be. Have I told you this? No. Uh, okay, so, like, say if they wanted to be, like, race is, like, different from class. So, like, right now, um, my class would be a witch, but my race would be human. <laughs> okay. But if I wanted to be, like... Like, if I change my skin color to green or something, I could be an orc. You know? You get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like that. Like, you could be any kind of species of thing you want to be, but your class is going to be decided by me. Because I'm going to have specific classes for this um, story. So, like, I would need a... Um, there was, like, a bard. You can be a... Um, I wrote it down. I don't, I don't feel like it, but you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I forget the names, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And so, cool. they would pick those out before starting, because there'll be like a set number, and people just can like decide which one they want to be. And uh, also, um, I also thought of having like a barbarian class, but Was only for friends. Um, <laughs> because uh, Barbarian has an axe, <laughs> and only friends oh. can have an axe on the island. So if you wanted to be a Barbarian, you can use an axe. <laughs> but like, don't cut down trees though, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> just like, you know, pretend know. when you're battling, you just make the swing. That'd be fun. Uh -huh. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Wouldn't that be fun? Just like swinging at monsters like that? <laughs> yeah. Totally doing that. And. And like, I'll. You know what? Do you know what this could be? No, wait, no. Okay, this could be spells and. Uh. Spells, and this could be armory and like tools because like if someone picks a class but they don't have like the special tool for it like say yeah. if they're a bard but they don't have any musical instruments then they could buy one yeah <laughs> because you know and then like if they're a a magic user or whatever and they don't have a wand then they could use one or right, they can buy one from me yeah <clears throat> also think about the money situation. It's like, should they be using their actual money or should it be like a trading thing? I guess you could make the game longer if you had to go with like, oh, give me this, trade me this, and uh, <laughs> I'll give you this kind of thing. Yeah. Truly, it, I, I can't tell until I play through it once and then I can make no. edits to a different story. This is a real basic story and the ending might be obvious but hopefully people will still have fun. That sounds really fun. I wanted to work, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard I try on these stupid things. Gotta work. I want to make this game relevant again. Alright, people need to play because I'm trying to be in here and making fun things. Chop it all down. <laughs> <laughs> So magic shop, um, armory shop. Let's just call it armory. Magic and armory. Very good. And then, and then this will be, you know, the bar. I was gonna put a sign, but the signs are a little too big. You can't. No. I mean, you can get in, but it's like it takes up of a space right here, and I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, but maybe, maybe I would. I could probably put like a, a short, simple panel here, and that could be a sign. Cause that'll work because it's i like it when it's only like a half a space like these um partitions uh-huh because um there's only like a half a space right here anyway so it fills up and you won't it won't really take up much room yeah so i'll probably do that also when someone dies what should happen <laughs> Ooh. like when they run out of health i mean they won't be dead they'll just like be knocked out i'm i'm well, i was wondering how that would work I think, like, honestly, I was thinking, like, maybe they could... I mean, they would, uh, obviously, they would stick with the party. And and there and there would be a healer. I mean, hopefully someone picks healer. <laughs> Otherwise, they would just have to, like, give food to each other. Will they just, like, be a ghost floating around? Maybe. Well, kind of I mean, no, they're, they're not dead. They're knocked out. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, but like, hmm. but they if they X's if they eyes. X is for eyes. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> Maybe if there's like some kind of glasses that they could wear. Let's see what we can. Find. Like they would have to need a stronger revival something, because like. Like, if you're knocked out, you can't eat food, so the food wouldn't help them if they lose all their life points. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm trying to think, like, is there something that they could do, like a revival potion or something? Ooh. It's definitely something to think about. Yeah. Hmm. Are you looking it up? I'm looking at glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I have anything. You can always wear one of those um, sleeping masks. Yeah. <clears throat>
Hmm. <laughs> I got shattered glasses. <laughs> I mean, I, I that would only really make sense if they were wearing glasses already, but... Yeah, something to think about. I should write notes. I'm gonna type out something. So the the revival potion, you you want it to not give them health points? Is that? Well, I mean, no, it would revive <laughs> them. I mean, it would revive them to a point. I don't think it would get them full health, or maybe it could. It 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 depends. But like, it's something that you only use if someone was knocked out. So maybe some kind of thing that you use kind of like fireworks but not exactly fireworks but something that runs out you know what I mean uh, I see for the healer to have or I guess anybody could use it but I guess the healer would be able to revive them you just you don't want it to be like unlimited yeah survival. like I want them to be cautious <laughs> what about um doesn't crazy red sell drinks and stuff like he does sell drinks like a soda yeah can you drink it like two or three times before it disappears. Well, I mean, that... Mm, I mean, but, like, the person oh. would be drinking it. The person knocked out wouldn't be drinking it. Gotcha. Also, that's still food. I want, I want like, a thing that you can use. Okay. This isn't what I want. Let me get my tablet. What about a mummy mask? A mummy mask? <laughs> that could work. Just like entire bandaged head. Yeah, yeah. That would work. <laughs> Definitely something on the head that indicates that they are no longer <laughs> in the party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, what about a halo? <laughs> there you go. That would be very obvious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. De okay. I'm definitely doing a halo, even though even though they're not dead. It just indicates that they're knocked out. Yeah. Kind of like how birds are flying around your head or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Let me write that down, cause I am very forgetful. About a bubble blower. <laughs> I was thinking of that would be like an attack or something. Oh, uh, okay. Because it's like, you know, it's um, aiming at someone, but that could yeah. also be a revival thing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all for anything that you use um, with your hand. I'm guessing you have an idea for the party poppers, too? Yeah, that's definitely a big attack. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Hmm. Let's see what else I have. Is that a banded dragonfly? 
No. <laughs> I don't even know why I care anymore. <laughs> Handheld items. What do I have in here? Party poppers. Got a bunch of wands. Magical. No. Musical instrument. Here's a fan? Hmm. Fish bait. Fish bait. <laughs> what would that do? <laughs> you know, I don't know if there's a lot of visual things that you can do. There's... I mean, I don't have any fireworks in here, but you can definitely buy them. I think. I mean, plus, I'll be able to get a lot since the fireworks festival is coming up. Yeah. So I'll be able to get a lot of fireworks from them and other things. Oh yeah, you can hold a book too, like for spell casting. That'd be cool. Ooh yeah. A lot of options. Guess I gotta talk to Red some more. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have a creepy character that holds a lantern? A lantern? Dun, dun. Yeah, handheld lantern. Maybe. There are going to be some creepy characters in the woods. I guess they could hold a lantern. I, mean, I don't think shelter. it's going to be dark when we play, but maybe it should be kind of uh, like like sunset-ish. Ooh, yeah. I don't want it to be too bright. Because there's like a lot of elements where it's it would be nicer if it was darker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all coming together. Mm-hmm. So I haven't heard back from that convention, so I guess we're going to uh, the Red <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you know it'd be cute if we got elf ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then we go dress as elf. I have a really cute dress that I've only worn once. I think that would be really cool to wear. It's not in medieval, but I mean, it's, um, uh. I guess it's got, I guess it's got kind of like a, um, I want to say country, foresty, a little more like a cottage core kind of vibe. Ooh. So I think that would work. Yeah. And then I can probably buy accessories to go with it. <laughs> you should totally do that. I mean, buy at them at the Ren Fair. Yes. I think I, I don't know. Ooh, big fish. Don't scare it away. Oh. Catch it. Oh. Oh. My John pull it scare it. Um, if it, yes. Oh, okay. You're good. Uh -huh. I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> yeah, catch it. I bet it's a fucking black bass, but whatever. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it's always hard to get these. Don't jump back over there, though. Nope. <laughs> Damn it, he's, he moved away. This is always the hardest place to fish. Alright, now look at it. <laughs> Turn around. Take it in your mouth. I don't think I'm gonna get this finish. <laughs> I 
Where are you going? We're here. Come you didn't catch this fish. <laughs> You're <laughs> right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also thinking after this it would be fun to do a pirate one. Ooh. And like actually bury treasure. Yeah. That's awesome. Ooh, I like your, um, your grave site here. Thank you, I made it fancy. <laughs> it is fancy. Is that a... Where'd you get the pedestal? It, this, it comes with it. Really? The statue? Yeah, it comes with the pedestal. Oh, dang. Okay. Although this one's a fake, so that's why I put it here. <laughs> that's what I like about these games. Like, if, even if it's fake, then you can still use it for decoration, and it won't, like... Um, do anything to your island rating. Yeah. Have fake stuff all around. Because it's still. It's just the Lego Switch. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> it's just. It's just fake art. The sincerest form of flattery. Fake art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have fun. <laughs> Angle jumping is always a skill. Gotta know where to do it. <laughs> skill I do not have. I love it. I can't wait to play. Yeah, I have no time frame of when this is gonna be done. But you know, it's in the works. But since I told you, you know, the initial stuff, you can think of what species or race or whatever you want to be. And then, um, I guess if you want to be Barbie Ann, that's fine. Because <laughs> you're probably going to be the only best friend that's playing. <laughs> I'll do it! Everybody else might be newbies. Yes, I will be the Barbarian. Thank you. I'm gonna check out your stores. Okay. Are you going to work more on your island tonight? Maybe. <laughs> you want me to eat the moose? Uh, I mean, if there's... You want to keep looking around for a stick bug, you're fine to do that. And I can look for you too. When did they show up? Or maybe I have it too early. I need to look it up. I can look it up. I got my thing. Nice. Uh, oh. Wow, that's a very small window. <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> it's uh, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. <laughs> what? The? Yeah, I was like, what? Wait, no, is that five? Or maybe that's five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. No, okay, it's... 
it's not 5 30 it's uh okay six six is that six o'clock 12 1 2 3 4 5 okay no 5 to 7 p.m that's still a little, a little small window though that's only two hours yeah no wonder i haven't seen any and then in the morning it's one two three four two four to eight a.m Please. Yeah, that's wild. I never know. I never knew that. What time is it now? <laughs> oh, well, I should have kept it on the time I was. My thing was on. Nah, I I raised the time because I wanted to see it a little bit brighter. But I guess I didn't help you. There's no stick bugs here. Not until 5 p.m. Well, now I I know not to waste my time though. So thank you for looking it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, I guess you can leave. <laughs> we can still talk, though. I'm sure it's still... Oh. No, it's past time on your island, but you can set the time back. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably do that. Wow. Crazy how we both... are both of our islands are, like, not in the time frame of stick bug up here. Yeah. Like, just, like, 30 minutes out of the time. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Dang it. Sorry, I'm buying all these flower sandals because they are... Cute AF. They are cute. I wish I had some in real life. Yeah. I'm not really a a, a, a flip flop person. Mm hmm. Cool kid. Hello. Mm. Victoria Sushi. Hello. Yeah, I'm not really a flip flop person. I really I like I like open toed sandals, I guess. I don't know. Sandals just ain't my jam. Cause like yeah. I don't like having my toes out. <laughs> it feels weird. You get rocks and stuff, and your feet get sweaty. Huh? Your feet don't get sweaty with normal shoes? I mean, I guess, but you don't really like see it. <laughs> you got socks and stuff on. But I guess hey, if I have to go to the beach, I will be wearing sandals. Actually, I gotta <laughs> find new sandals. Because I broke mine last time I went to the beach. Because the sand is so heavy. It got stuck. It's heavy? Well, I mean, you're walking through the... I mean, you shouldn't be walking through the sand in, um, in sandals. You should just do it barefoot because, like, as soon as your feet sink in, uh, sink in it's just like, it just takes your shoes with you. Oh. <laughs> I learned Good that the hard way. When's the last time you've been to the beach? I've never been to the beach. What? I okay. Well, uh, I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Not like I went to like a beach, I guess. We're at a pond kind of thing in Edinburgh. They just had sand on the on the bank. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, I didn't know I was speaking. To someone who's never been. <laughs> <laughs> but we're don't worry, we're gonna remedy that in October. Adam and I are going to Florida. Oh, nice. So yeah. We're gonna stay on the beach. Ooh. Fancy. How'd that uh how'd that happen? You got you got connections? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we just said screw it. <laughs> Well, I've never been to an ocean beach. I've just been to um, Lake Michigan, which is pretty close. It well, looks the same. Maybe. I mean, <laughs> like in pictures, you can't tell the difference. The water's just not <laughs> as blue as the ocean, I guess. Yeah. One day I will go to like the actual beach beach, because that's where you yeah. that's where you get all the shells. Yeah. They don't really have shells um, up in up at the lake. They have like small ones that you can really try really hard to find. Uh huh. You're you live literally next to the beach. I'm jealous. <laughs> but yeah, one day I will go. Do it. Might take a vacation to Mexico or something, you know, like people do. 
<laughs> it's not as good as it sounds. You know, I guess once you live there, it's just kind of like you get used to it. But like, as, as for me, who's never been, it's just like kind of like a dream vacation. <laughs> uh huh. Compared to living there. <laughs> Jessica, I'm talking to the chat, by the way, if you didn't know. What? You you know I'm talking to chat, right? Oh, no. No, I didn't know. You thought I was talking <laughs> to you the whole time? <laughs> well, of course, you know I don't read, I don't read the chat. Get... <laughs> <laughs> you can't be a co-host if you don't read the chat. <laughs> You're gonna get confused. I don't. Co-host. I'm a co-host. I. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I. I use the term loosely. Very loosely. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh man. God, the airport gate was open. I can't use my design portal. Mm. Yeah, we're doing another stability study on Monday. Well, at least you got the weekend, right? Half a weekend. Half a weekend. Well, I mean, if you go, if you get up early on Sunday, then you get the whole day. Oh, uh, yeah. thank you, Victoria. I worked on it for two years. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sitting in here. I might as well just look at it right here. For those who don't know, I don't like to look at the portal sitting outside because then I miss out on balloons and stuff and it bothers me. Although I'm not very good at catching them because I always kind of ignore them. But whatever. I still want them. I see I see some players on Twitch who just like ignore them because they have everything. I'm just like, mm. I would still chase after it even if I had everything. Right. <laughs> Same. Cause like, what if it's something cool? Like they got yeah. new items in the balloons now, so you never know. Do they? Yeah. I got a. Uh, it's funny cause um I bought, cause you saw the stagecoach I had. Yeah. Um, I actually I bought that, and then the next day I got one in a balloon. I was just like, well, damn. <laughs> Didn't need to buy one. I could have just waited right. Do that on purpose. <laughs> That's annoying, but. It, and I guess I just have a second one. I could probably use a second one or sell it. I don't know. All right, we're looking for an armory sign. A armory. I hope I'm spelling this right. Armory. Oh, here comes the hubby. Oh, that's cute. Wow. There's not a lot. But oh, I do God. like what they have. I like this one. Hey, thanks for grabbing that. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's been out there since we <laughs> A little island tour? Uh, sure. After I download these things, I will give you a short tour because why not? Using up all these slots. What else do I not need? I think I'm using all of these. And I'll just put it here. Okay. I think that so I be... just yeah saved my game so I could you know change the time. Uh huh. And then I ended up going back into the game. Oh, that happened. Now I'm sitting here waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> the loading screen. 
<laughs> what else? A magic shop. Did I just say magic shop or? I'll say magic yeah. shop. Peace. Ooh, people are fancy. This one's cute. I want ones with words on it, though. Does this have words on it? What does this say? It does say magic, kinda. It's a little too busy. Emily, <laughs> you should go get your grandpa. Go on. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's better. Uh, this one's fine. For now. I'll probably find something different a little later. But for now, this is okay. Now I feel like I want to switch. Which stall has which stuff. Like, I want the armory shop to be the beat up stall. And the magic shop to be the more pristine stall. Yeah. Cause that makes sense. Based on this based on the signs I just downloaded, because the the armory sign is like ripped and teared. Alright. Island tour. If Victoria is still here, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so she leave? I mean, it's it's fitting because I'm in the airport, so I was basing off this out of amusement park first. So you would come in and like this is uh, based off of Alice in Wonderland. So we got the tea party over here, and we got the Red Queen over here. We got the forest with the uh... man. I forgot what these things are called. The mul the 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 mole rats. Uh, music station, and then we have the the caterpillar little area over here. So that's the main part, and then everything else is just unrelated after that. <laughs> like that's where the that's where Wonderland stops, basically. I would have spread it out, but I was just I had too many ideas. So over here is um, where I usually put up or I set up mini games. So this mini game right here is Cutthroat Kitchen. And uh, currently have not and haven't had any players yet, but I'm still working on that. And uh, over here is the hotel, and back here is deal or no deal, and back here is the campgrounds. Real quick, here we have the orchard. And over here is the shopping square. Well, it's the second one. Here is the farm. There's an ice cream parlor up here. And uh, here is the beach resort down here. Here's like a, a bit of like a water feature. that you can just like hang out on. Lifeguard station. There's a kiddie pool area. Here's the uh, beach gym with surfboards and uh, what are these called? Wetsuits? Body suits? Wetsuits. And behind here, we have a basketball court, which also leads into the Zen Garden. 
the Zen Garden leads into the uh, Asian Fusion restaurant. And this leads into the arcade. The arcade has a diner attached to it. And across the diner is the main um, carnival area. Carnival area attaches to the cafe. And over here is a little area I'm working on currently for a RPG game. And up here is the... What, what do we call this? Just like a star viewing area. You can push stars here. Oh, there it is. I, I gotta get it. Wait, I can't get it over here. There's too many flowers. Damn it. Uh, uh. I'm gonna have to give up on that one. <laughs> Okay, up here we have uh, all the gyroids. And the museum. And up here we have the... Uh, what, am I, what am I calling this? The air and space um, exhibit. So every, all the rooms are space themed in here. Kind of also under construction. <laughs> I'm working on that one too. Uh. Um. Over there is a work in progress. Where else? There's like one more area I gotta run to. It's really hard to do a tour because there's no clear path through everything. Like you have to, like at, at some point you just gotta pick a pick a, a way to go. Who's doing that? Hey, you calm down up there. All right, up here we have some houses, um, and through here we have we got the secret path to the back beach where Red shows up. And I call this, uh, Smuggler's Cove. And back through here... Ugh, we have the Haunted Forest. With included, uh, Skull Lake. And this is where Lucky lives. Got some graves and everything. And then finally, up here is my house. Oop. Which currently is a haunted house, but I am going to change it up to be something different for the RPG game. I guess I was going for like a haunted mansion feel, even though I've never been to Disney World. Jessica, are you still there? I guess not. Yes, sorry, I muted myself. <laughs> you muted yourself? <laughs> what? That's rare. <laughs> were you, were you... Ah, damn it. <laughs> I was in here too long. Were you listening to my tour? Yes. Ah. Could you imagine where I was going? Even though you weren't- Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly where you were going. I couldn't- I could- I can't stay in the house too long. The animals always invite themselves in. I um, hate which, that. Yeah. That was like my least favorite thing about um, New Leaf. And then it just added it. I'm just like, no one really liked that. <laughs> I That's mean, like every time you go in your house, 
I go to their houses every day. <laughs> like, I don't really care if they come over here. I'd prefer if they not. Honestly, I'd like to see them get up here with them hopping. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for coming. Bye. Like, I'd like to see them hop them little stones to get over here. That'd be funny. <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna be so annoying when I'm gonna like redesign my house and everyone's just gonna be popping in. It's like, nah, <laughs> can you not? <laughs> Although I think I can design my house while you're here. Oh yeah? I have been, you can't, I think you, I'm pretty sure you can put stuff down and move things around while you have guests over, but as long as they're not in the house. So maybe I'll do that to prevent other people from coming over. Who knows? Yeah. But I feel like I don't know how long I would actually take, so I'd feel like that'd be just wasting your time. You're just sitting around being like, oh, I wouldn't care. Here I am. I'd be doing the same thing over there that I would do over here, so. Mm -hmm. You find a sick bug yet? No. <laughs> I'm did looking. You, what time did you set it to? Five o'clock. Mm. Right on the dot. Yup. I'm kind of um, doing other stuff around the island while I look, so I'm not looking that hard. Oh yeah, speaking of other stuff, <laughs> I almost forgot what I was doing. <laughs> the tour kind of threw me off. Alright, we're editing some signs. How'd it go? Mm -hmm. Girlfriend, boyfriend stuff. Fun. What? What? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking to Adam. He just got home. Oh, uh, that doesn't yeah. really work. Dang. Ugh. This works, but the armory sign does not work. Maybe it's. Even downstairs. Ooh, white. White will look good. I thought it was going to be transparent. I'm upset. Uh, just place it. Just place it. Yeah, you got another blue rose. Oh, nice. Profit. Thank you for your your blue roses. No problem. They grow like weeds over here. <laughs> Is that okay? Should I change this? Hmm. Maybe I should put it in front. Come on. Oh, I welcome. This right here. It's gonna be cluttered over here. You think you have so much room, and then when you actually start putting stuff in, you're like, dang, I can't move. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. I think I'm gonna stop playing when Daniel gets here. Or, I guess when he tells me that he's. he's about to come home, so I can start cooking stuff. Okay. So whenever that is. <laughs> oh, was that now? I just got a message on my No! <laughs> Damn! Dang it! I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, you know what? He's getting off early. I'm gonna i I'm gonna go for like three more minutes. Whatever. <laughs> that whatever. <laughs> Excellent timing. Man, I can't I can't stand him. <laughs> Oh, I'm leaving. Like, who, who, who said you could leave early <laughs> on <a> Friday? <laughs> okay. All right. Magic shop sign. Not fun. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take. 
<laughs> Sorry, I kicked on that path. Oh, I hate that. It's okay. I it's been the first time I've done it so far. I've been doing good not kicking up this place. The illusion stays. <laughs> I'm glad other people can't kick it. You know how annoying that would be? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Now we put it here. Alright, alright. Stupid phone. Oh, you rushing me. Nope. Said, cook me dinner. But he wasn't. That was just another notification. It wasn't him exactly. <laughs> okay, that looks fine. For now. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me see the other sign. I mean, maybe I can make it work, I don't know. I really liked it. Is there like a different kind of sign or is this the only kind of old looking sign? Cause I know there's other signs. But I really wanted this one to work. I'll keep it for now. Is that another balloon? Oh my god. <laughs> Where? Oh, there it is. Redemption is yellow, though. It's probably money. Yeah, there is a. Twitch. We are live on Twitch. I'm co-hosting. I'm, I'm just kidding. Ooh. Allegedly. <laughs> she was um, talking to people who were messaging her through Twitch and I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she was like, you realize I'm talking to them, right? I'm like, no. Like, so you have to start reading Twitch. Can't be a good co-host if you don't read it. Oh. <laughs> it's like I'm co-hosting. <laughs> My iPad. Put it up next to you. Like I use that term loosely. Well, I could do that. All right. All we need now is some. Uh... Something. <laughs> <laughs> suit of armor they sell those right but like the whole suit I think they do uh, yeah. and uh, happy home designer I'm pretty sure that they gave you that option so I'm gonna go buy one but I'm gonna make it rusty I think I can do that 
That's <laughs> cool. And then I'll put it behind the armory shop. Because I want it to be like a rundown armory shop. Like it doesn't have the it, it doesn't have the best armory over here because like obviously look at the town, it's so small. <laughs> I wish they had the Legend of Zelda stuff. Yeah, so that would help. I mean, they got some things. They got a sword, and they, you got a they have a sword backpack and stuff like that. But like you know, you don't have the link hat where you get pointy ears like that's... <laughs> that would have been nice. For yeah. Like, and stuff. Not too late. Always a DLC. What? Could be a DLC. What? Could be. They said they weren't I'd... doing any more DLCs. No, no. They said this is it. You better be happy with this. No. no. And I do appreciate it, but I feel like there could just be more. You could just add everything that you had in the last game into this game, and it would be perfect. Yeah. Because, like, this has new things that the last game doesn't have, but it should all... I feel like if there was good things in the previous game, there should be added to the, the current game. I agree. That's how you make a good sequel. You keep everything everybody liked. Yeah. Oh, music festival. DJ's here! Sweet! Why is he always here? Oh. Oh, dang. But it's like supposed to be random throughout the week. Huh? What the hell? It's supposed to be random? Hey. Alright, CJ's here. Oh. Is that- Oh, you said CJ's here. I thought you said DJ. Oh. As in DJ KK. Oh, no. no. The beaver. Beaver Cleaver? <laughs> oh, did you hear Wally died? Yeah. I'm being a little... little rave addict and going over here to the DJ KK party. <laughs> you guys on some kind of mission here? Or? Oh, I'm- we're just- we're doing separate things on our own. Uh. Actually, I am on a mission to find a walking stick. You just go in the front yard. <laughs> Party hole. Have you seen I'm a walking stick in real life? Uh, not like years ago. Huh? Like when I was a kid. What? Saw a walking stick. Like a bug? Uh -huh. I thought you actually meant a walking stick. Mm. Oh, no, not the stick that you walk with. But the bug. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> sure, it has a more proper name than walking stick. <laughs> 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 They're only out from 5 to 7. Well, they're out in the morning too, but. So I had to change my time back. Who plays uh, I was gonna say it's uh, hot. <laughs> I'm mad. DJ KK never plays my jams. I'm what? Like three songs. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't pop up in the rotation. Alright. Done dancing around for now. I came here for a reason. <laughs> All you people are blocking my way. Get out of here. What way, butterflies? <laughs> Is this your last bug? Last bug? Yeah. Uh, that's the last one I need in July. Oh.
You know, it's funny. Like, what? you play on your DLC so much, if you see someone else play on theirs, you're like, oh. Because you kind of forget that other people have different, you know, people working at their restaurants and all the restaurants and stuff look different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I've gotten all the food recipes by now, because I keep getting ones that I've already known. <laughs> Party time's over. For now. says that every time as if I'm going to <laughs> do work here. This is cool. I haven't seen this on sale yet. Examination room desk. Okay, do I have enough to buy a suit of armor? Um, hopefully they're available. I'm pretty sure because I built a scary house and that was part of the stuff. <laughs> Adam Adam's in the chat. <laughs> what is he saying? He says, what's up? <laughs> Armor. <laughs> Dang it. Damn it. What is it called? Is it called something different or do I actually not have it? These walking sticks are proving to be elusive. Yeah, well, they're also kind of skittish. They'll just like phase into the tree if you walk around too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna do Google search. What am I thinking of? It's, it, it's not on Nicopedia, which means it's not called a suit of armor. Hmm. Maybe it's called like a knight something? Medieval? Positively medieval. Uh, how do you spell medieval? I always spell it wrong. Mid? M-E-D-I-E-V-A-L? I-V-E-A-L? That is incorrect. <laughs> M-E-D-I-E-V-A-L? I... Plate armor. Plate armor? Can be obtained from crafting, which requires ten iron nuggets. Plate armor? That is it! Woo! Wait. Wait. Really? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Plate. Armor. Oh, I can't click the wrong one. New Horizons? Oh, I've traveled all the way here for nothing. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Thank you, Jessica. You're welcome. Well, let's see if I have it. Surely I do. You buy your Mega Millions ticket? <laughs> Did I buy one? Yeah. Listen, I thought about it. A billion dollars? It's too much. That's too much. Like, well, you, you know that show, fun. The Lottery Ruined My Life, or whatever it's called? Like, that would be me. <laughs> I wouldn't... <laughs> I would be too nice, giving out too much 
and everybody would be like coming after me, change my phone number and address, people breaking in and shit. I don't know. I couldn't deal with it. Like, I would like a cool 50 grand. That's what I want. There you go. A billion dollars? I'd probably, like, I also, also, you know how much work goes into like managing all that shit? I wouldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> That's why you hire someone to do it. And then you gotta deal with that. <laughs> are you? Oh, it's right here. Cool. I was like, are you serious? I don't have it? Well, okay, I do have it, and I can just leave. Well, I'm gonna go see what it's on sale in Harv's Island, but hey, I can make me a rusty iron suit. Nice. Rusty pork. Rusty pork. Rusty, spoon. rusty spoon. Yeah, but I talked about Dan I talked to Daniel about it, and it's like, yeah, that's too much. All the family members <laughs> that come out of nowhere and stuff like that. Once someone Maybe finds out that you have one. so much money. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't tell anybody, but... <laughs> I don't know. It's just too much to think about. And plus, it's like, if I got that much money, I wouldn't be selling anything anymore because I would be, like, set. I'm just like, well, did I just be bored as hell? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the grind, okay? It's fun. <laughs> like, what would, you, what would I even do all day if I had everything figured out? Draw, I guess? I guess I would draw, but like... <laughs> What's the point? Just because um, you, you win a bunch of money, if, if, you know, that doesn't mean you have to stop doing what you're doing. I know, yeah, yeah. I guess. I would stop doing what I'm doing. <laughs> do something else. So. None of us are gonna win. But definitely not a billion. No, it's, it's too much. Maybe a million. I saw I'll give a you a million if ago, we though. win. You say what? So, so I'll, I'll give you a million if we win. Thank you. Oh, did you get the? You got a ticket? Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's, on, it's been recorded. You can't take it back. <laughs> so you're on the record. Yeah. This will be admissible in a court of law. <laughs> Verbal agreement. So the lady at the gas station told me they were me. What? When I, when I went to buy the lottery tickets, she, she told me, like, now my name is. I forget her name. Oh, but gosh. My it? name's it. it. <laughs> the person who sells the ticket who wins, they get something back, right? The the place that sells it? I think so. That's what yeah, I they get a little, They get a little kickback for selling it. Yeah. Do I want these boots? Boots are kind of cute. I feel like I've never had these boots before. Some more hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'll be here all week. Yeah? All week. <laughs> Stop selling fake art, you con artist. I need real shit. <laughs> I'm trying to beat this game. The only person hold me back is red. <laughs> played Breath of the Wild to completion? I have never played it. No, that's the lie. I've played okay. it a little bit, but I don't own it. What? <laughs> Listen, you see what I'm playing now? Breath of the Wild stresses me out. <laughs> oh, wait, have I been here? What, what stresses you out? Breath of the Wild. The the Zelda, out. Zelda in general just stresses me out. Like, I'll play the new Link's Awakening. That's cute, but like... <laughs> like when I when I first played it and I got like trapped by one of those those eyeball robots, I was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it though. I don't know. Like, I, my gaming experience is is a touch and go at best. I uh, I'm not really into stressful games. I'm into more calming games. Or if if it is a stressful game, um, I would play with friends. So at least I would have backup because I don't want to depend solely on myself because I'll fuck up. 
<laughs> All right, I think I have everything. I feel like I've been here already. I think I played earlier this week and I just forgot that I came here already. Yeah, good to go home. Yes. <laughs> So I figured out how to beat those eyeball things. Oh, like them. a shield? The guardians? That are the, they crawl, the ones by the castle? Yeah. Remember the shield parry? Oh, yeah. yeah. Parry, parry. You parry your shield at the right moment, you send the laser back to them. Ah, uh, yeah. Them. But you gotta, like, be on it. It is, it is hard. At least for me. Okay, I got hard you is did. not my middle name. I watch people <laughs> play hard games online, and then I laugh at them when they fail. <laughs> and I mean, like in return, people can laugh at me when I miss a bug or a fish or whatever. But that's like the extent of what's going to happen. But I am playing more Final Fantasy, so I mean that game can be stressful. But I am, but you do play with other people, so. Again, it's like a little bit easier for me to handle. Did you ever play Final Fantasy VII? Or not, wait, was it eight that I was in? I can't remember the number. Yeah, I did seven, you did eight. That's right. I played both seven and eight. <laughs> I did not safe. finish either, but I do remember <laughs> playing both. I think um, it was back in the day when I was borrowing games from friends. I didn't like have them, I just borrowed them. And then I gave them back after I tried them out. So I never really owned either one, but I did play them. Somehow when I was like 12, like 10 or 11, I got a hold of that game. I don't know where it came from. The four discs. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. how old, you know. And I got super addicted to that game for like two weeks. Uh. I never finished it either, but... <laughs> I loved Legend of Dragoon. That was my game. Legend of Dragoon? Yes. So much fun. I don't know what that is. <sighs> it's amazing. <laughs> I should look it up. Okay, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. <laughs> Skies of Arcadia. <laughs> that was fun. That sounds that fun. Hard. Is that the one down here? Yeah, it's on GameCube. Yeah. And Dreamcast. Dang it. That's not what I want to do. I played, uh, what was it called? Tales of... Symphonia? Huh? Symphonia or something like that? Yeah, Sym Tale Tales of Symphonia. Yeah. I played that. That has two discs, right? I don't know, I never played it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I borrowed that from a friend and I got pretty far, but then they're like, oh, I want it back. And I was like, <sighs> I didn't finish it. Lame. I was having a lot of fun with that game. It was cool. Craft. You know what game freaked me out? What? Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Why? On the PlayStation. Because there's a there's a there's a boss. I forget his name, but he's <laughs> um he can he, he claims to read your mind and at first you're, you're fighting him and he and he matches every move that you make and you're freaking out like what in the world. <laughs> And then you, it, he, he like says something, gives you some kind of clue, and you realize, oh, you had to take, you had to unplug your controller from port one and plug it in port two. You couldn't read your mind. What? <laughs> yeah, it was. It freaked me out as a, as a, uh, you know, twelve year old. <laughs> That's wild. That's a. I've never heard of that. So you had to switch the controller port in order to beat him. Psycho Mantis was his name. I oh, love it. Never heard of that. That is crazy. But also kind of a cool concept for sure. Thinking outside the box like that. Yeah. And now everybody has the the alert sound on their phone. Yeah. Like, that's a fun. That's a fun sound to use for with it uh, when you when you edit videos. <laughs> Sorry, 
girl. Shut up. No, you're, you're good. You're good. Filling in this dead air with conversation. It's helping me. <laughs> Cause lo Lord knows I'm not doing anything super interesting. <laughs> I was a stupid kid because I was afraid of the music in Mortal Kombat. I was like, thick. <laughs> it's okay. I, I was a little afraid of the music in Kingdom Hearts. When shit got serious, I was like, ugh. It's stressing me out. <laughs> Jess, do you remember the first game you ever played? First game I ever played. Hmm. Probably Mario. On NES. The original, yeah. That is a good question. Or or um Duck Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first game I ever played It's hard to say I think the first game I played was a computer game Really? Yeah, because I think I had that computer game before I got my Sega Genesis Ooh. So like it was a game, uh, it was really old and it had this giant floppy disk that it came out <laughs> <laughs> It was like, you know, those big floppy disks? Yeah. Yeah, that's what the game was on. Wow. It was, uh, <laughs> what was it called? I think it was called Tooth Fairy? Or something. It was some kind of fairy. It was like very 8-bit, and you had to go around and collect things and everything. I think that was like the one of the first games I played. Cool. You're lucky you had a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day. I didn't get a computer to talk with them. And it wasn't my computer, but like, we didn't have a computer around us, so it was like fifth grade. I mean, that's when it. I think that's when it was around fifth grade, grade school. And then after that, we got a Sega. I can't remember which one came first. I'm pretty sure the computer was first. It was so old. Like, I can barely remember what software I was using, but it was just like the oldest piece of shit. <laughs> Windows 95, baby! It was not. That was... Windows 95 was new. I feel like it was like Windows... Um... MS-DOS? Something. It, I don't even know if it had like a Windows operating system. I don't remember. That was like the oldest, oldest computer. Because I remember the window. I remember which computer had Windows 95, and it wasn't that one. So I, I'm too young to remember anything about it other than the game. And there was also some kind of space game that was on there too. Where you would like be flying. It looked like you were flying over some kind of huge, huge spaceship. Going like, weaving in and out of like different, like... I wouldn't call them roads. It's just like areas where you don't run into walls or whatever. And you're also fighting other ships. So that was interesting. I don't know what else called. Cool. Those are those are the two giant floppy disks that I had. <laughs> you didn't have Oregon Trail? No, I never played that. Or number munchers? No. That was my game. Uh, I didn't really have any of those older, older games that people used to play. I didn't school. have any computer games. I played Solitaire a lot, though. <laughs> Where is it? I hear it. I hear the balloon. And Minesweeper. I did play Minesweeper a lot, too, yeah. And the pinball game. But on my older computer... Like when, it, when we got like a newer operating system, there was this one game where these balls or something would be bouncing around and they would slice the playing field in half and then like you would have to trap the balls into different playing fields. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. Hard to explain. 
It's only like a it's only like a vague memory. And then there'll also hmm. be like a sliding puzzle block game or whatever. Just some really old things that I would just play. And like uh, our computer was like in the how did I get out my fishing rod? My computer was in like the worst position because it was like behind the couch. So I would have to be on my knees leaning over the back of the couch to play on the computer. Just crushing <laughs> my ribs. <laughs> An owl? A gurney. It's a hospital thing, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh! Why does it look like this? Oh! I didn't mean to do that. It's got all these straps. Like it could be for like an asylum. Oh man, I'm gonna make an asylum. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. Yes. Thank you, balloon. <laughs> See? You gotta get these balloons. I would have never known about a gurney. About a weird looking gurney with straps to hold someone down. That's crazy. Mm. I mean, I guess that's what gurneys are. Because, like, if someone shouldn't move, they should be strapped down. But, the, like, the way it looks just looks so, um, so crazy. I wonder if you can edit it and put blood on it. Daniel said he was on his way here 30 minutes ago. He's still not here. He lied. He says that. He'll, he'll be like, oh, okay, I'm on my way out, and then he'll just I don't know. Just sit in his car or something? I don't know. <laughs> Think about his life. I mean, I feel like it takes about 30 minutes, like, it takes 15 minutes for him to walk to his car, and maybe 15 minutes to drive here. 15 so, minutes to walk to his car? Yeah, he doesn't have a really? very close parking lot. He works at Notre Dame and there's only like a few parking lot uh, parking spots close to the lab he works at, so he's got to walk all the way to like the public parking spot area for uh. like, the students and stuff. So it's a it's I've 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 walked with him to that area. It's pretty far. <laughs> and then and then of course the 15 minutes. Maybe you got to stop by a train. They do that up here. And Jessica, you mentioned you had traffic. What happened to that? Oh, I don't. They had all the lanes stopped, and um, I got off uh, at Pillen and Pike, and where I got off, there was a a cop car sitting in front of the on ramp mm -hmm. on the other side, not letting traffic on. But it took me over an hour to get home. It usually takes me thirty minutes. Dang, that sucks. Sorry about that. Yeah. Like that. That must have been bad. Inball machine. <laughs> Don't see it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's looking pretty good over here. This armory sign, though, is a little disappointing. I wish it was better. I guess it's fine for now. Never gonna find a walking stick. This is kind of a morbid thought. What? <laughs> is it bad that when I when I signed up to get life insurance to work, I made sure to make the value um, at or more than the mortgage. <laughs> so if I just happened to me, you could pay the house off and be able to live. Aww. You're sweet. I just did whatever um, whatever I could do without having to get a doctor. Uh, <laughs> to get a medical the Yeah. Medical. <laughs> Y'all are so grown up. <laughs> I don't know if it's morbid. Uh, but I was thinking, fine. like, when you play this game, you have to get a loan to buy your house. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. And I was like, mortgage payment. <laughs> then, oh yeah, life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's fake. Carrying a book. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess my statement stands. It didn't have to stop until it gets here. It certainly hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, this food would be cold. I wouldn't cook it right away. <laughs> I guess it would be better to cook it now. Or not now, but like when it gets here. You sometimes I can predict how long the food will take to cook, but I I'm gonna be air frying chicken and that takes uh how long does that take? <laughs> well, it depends. Is it real chicken? Like like raw chicken? Yeah, it is raw chicken. So it's like about an hour. <laughs> An hour? Well, I mean, I gotta do it in... My air fryer isn't that big. Oh. So I gotta do, like, in, like, two parts. Yeah. I wanna get a bigger air fryer, though. You don't have a deep oil... oil fryer? We're not trying to do oil. Air fryer is healthier. <laughs> Oil's faster. I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of that stuff getting all over my walls, honestly. We were doing that for a while. So were we. Until it just got so messy. And then we weren't really sure what to do with the oil afterwards. I mean, Daniel was like, just dump it! And I was like, no, we can't dump it. We have to, we have to keep it in a, in a jug for some reason, like my dad does. That's what Jess did. <laughs> and then you just throw the jug out. Yeah. <laughs> Go away, so bitch! you're just making an oil bomb for the, for the, no. for the last film. <laughs> Do what? So then you're just making an oil bomb for the landfill. Oh. When they, when they crush the trash and move it all into. The... <laughs> That'll get rid of them raccoons. <laughs> hmm. I'm tired of these damn mosquitoes. They should give us a spray instead of a net. How's Emily doing? She's good. She's just laying on the couch. She opened her eyes when you said her name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is, it's nine o'clock almost. Takes an hour to cook. Okay, if he doesn't show up, 
Before nine, I'll stop at nine. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting him to take this long. It has been 40 minutes now. He's still not here. He probably Dang. wants to get gas. Or to get that cake that he's supposed to bring to the picnic tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Ooh, picnic. <laughs> yeah. A company picnic. I'll pick a nick a basket. Yeah, yeah the but... charcuterie board. Charcuterie board at a picnic. Well, it's a picnic. What, what else do you <laughs> Part of Bella Mushroom Steak. Ooh, yeah. uh. We're supposed to bring dessert. We can't bring a, a, a charcuterie board. Random meats and cheese. Where's the wall, Kingston? <laughs> Still, Jessica? I know! <laughs> I took a short detour to check out Red. Mm. And there lies mm. your downfall. <laughs> you need to stay focused. <laughs> Starting to think they don't exist. Oh, they're around. Do yeah, they show up like bugs, that, like beetle on a tree? Yeah. What else do you think I should put in this bar? I have bottles that I was gonna put on the barrel, but like, I think I need like one more thing. Ooh. You don't have a still? <laughs> it, this is a child game. <laughs> <laughs> have a chemistry set. Does that work? Uh, it's too big. <laughs> also, that, ooh, that really would look kind of cool <laughs> for the magic, though. The chemistry oh. set would look kind of cool in the magic booth. Yeah. It is kind of big, though. I wish I had a smaller one. But you know, keep throwing ideas yeah. at me. <laughs> Medieval it's a children's bar. game, yet they have the, the statue of David with the little <laughs> peepee. That's too big. That's natural, Adam. It's a natural thing. It's art. That's right. Hmm. What's in the balloon? What's in the balloon? We're in school uniform top. Cute. That was cute. Put a little poop on it. Oh, look at that. You know, that plate armor is the second time I was like, oh, I can buy this app in the DLC, and then I find out, like, oh, I have to make it. <laughs> It's it's hard, okay. I don't I don't remember when something is a recipe or not. Like things are they're like giving you recipes for like full on things that you think you could buy. Yeah. Oh, Daniel's here now. Aww. Which is good. I only <laughs> needed to do this last thing. But while I'm doing this, keep giving me ideas for that bar. Let me see, let me see. Let's Just a small tabletop item that I could put in front and put on the on the on the counter. An antique cash register. I've thought about that. But I was like, do they have antique cash registers back in like in like medieval kind of times? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh, so it's a medieval bar. It's, it's, I'm, I don't really know the time frame. I just feel like they got stage coaches and, and they use candles. So maybe, maybe not like, a cash register. More like a saloon. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. a saloon. You could say that. A candle. Oh, wait, you already have one. Yeah. Yeah, I said candle. <laughs> 
If you haven't realized yet, I don't... <laughs> I don't remember things. No, a classic picture. Oh, yeah, okay, no, I'll do that. <laughs> Coffee grinder. No. <laughs> I'll do the picture. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I got an idea. Daniel! Daniel, you wanna cook some chicken? <laughs> I should have thought of that before. Make him do it. <laughs> it's not hard. You just gotta put it in there and turn it on. And then flip it. Yeah. At yeah. least he could do like the first one. Give me an extra 25 minutes to fuck around. There you go. We used to take turns um, when we fried stuff. It was like, okay, you do this batch and I'll do the next batch. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that. Now it's just yeah. me. <laughs> Oh man, I can do it all. I still want this stove in here, but there's no way to make it work. Unless I... Maybe if I did something like this... You're in 33. I mean, it doesn't really look great. This is boring, but we got information about Emily's plane back. Oh yeah, what did they say? Or some dollars back? Cool. Yeah, Classic we had a picture. So I know this is boring. Money is not boring. I love getting well, yeah, money. <laughs> not money. Twitch. <laughs> Who's getting money? What? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Insurance claim. Oh. For the dog. For the dog. Are you are you claiming something now or are you just making it up? Oh no, we she had a vet checkup. And we had to pay for it, but then we, you know put in the claim on her insurance and they're paying us back part of it. Oh, okay. Cause I was like, that's a great idea, we should get dog insurance. Like $170 a month now. It wasn't at first. No. <laughs> Bastards. They're like, you love your dog, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I should know more and more about dog insurance. Has an annual limit of $10,000. I mean, it's coming handy. It just sucks because we have to pay it up front and then they reimburse us. Mm. So. What if we don't have the money? I want you to know, Elise, that I'm still looking for things to put on your... <laughs> I'm doing the classic picture. I know. <laughs> I just we figured it out. It, it works. Better. <laughs> Ten bucket, like a spittoon. Ten bucket. There you go. A tin bucket? I would go for the wooden bucket, honestly. Ah, there you go. I know there was a wood. <laughs> Listen, I don't have that much real estate in this area, okay? I need to walk around in here. As, as cute as it would be to put all this stuff in here. find a block. Hmm. Boom. Now which paint should I put on this classic picture? <laughs> I wish they had like you know those tin cups and stuff that you would get at an actual tavern. Uh huh. But that oh, would imply yeah. that there was beer in the game, and they don't want to do that. I don't have beer steins or anything. No, they just have mason jar cups with like decorative oranges and 
and stripy straws. I'm just like, mm, the straws are giving it away. I want to be authentic. Yes. We'll drink wine out of a cup. <laughs> Here. No, I want it on the left. How dare you? I guess. That looks fine. I I guess I'm going with this brown color scheme that makes everything look old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. I think that's you know, Daniel did not answer me about the chicken, so I guess I'm eating the chicken. Aww. <laughs> Which is fine. I, <laughs> I think I've run into a good stopping point because I need to figure out what else to make. But I'm also not going to stream it. I'm just going to play it on my own. <laughs> I could stream it, but that means I got to talk. I can just like, talk to myself. <laughs> I get so used to talking to Jessica, I barely talk to myself. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is looking pretty good. Thanks for your help, Jessica. You're welcome, Elise. Anytime. That's right. <laughs> Anytime I want. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Renaissance Fairy. Oh, goodness sake. Oh, is Adam <laughs> going? Adam, are you going? <laughs> What is this Renaissance Fair? It's at the end of August. Last weekend in August. Where is this Renaissance Fair? It's in South Bend. <laughs> Show up in my Harley t-shirt. And you Have don't even stuff. have to get a hotel. You can just come up here for the day and then leave at night. Yeah. That two hours will fly by. <laughs> Driving. <laughs> Uh, look at me, I do it all the time. I, I feel like I've done that drive like a hundred times by now. <laughs> I'll get him to go to one. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's, it's what couples do. I'm sure he'll have fun. <laughs> I'm forcing Daniel to go. Every time I say, every time I say Ren Fair, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. He's like, what's a Ren Fair? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say the whole thing out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make sure. Blood pudding. Yeah, haggis. yeah, haggis and pudding. Hag you say haggis? <laughs> yeah. Bandy smash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Jessica, I'm, I'm gonna go. Okay, have fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> but I did say I was gonna stop at nine, and it's almost nine, so I might as well just stop now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Same time next week. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely have more to show you next week. Sweet. I'll try to work on a second level this time. <laughs> okay. Alright, goodbye. Bye. And thanks for all everybody who's watching. Uh, I'll be streaming next week, but also maybe later this weekend playing Final Fantasy. I don't really know. We'll see. I'm also doing a lot of things this weekend, but I definitely will be playing Final Fantasy. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. Okay, goodbye.